let's talk about donating blood. So I've been donating blood for about 10 years now and I donate at Blood Source. Um, it's now called Vitalant, but I'm just gonna refer to it as Blood Source because that's what I know it as. And I've been donating since before I was vegan and now with me being vegan for almost three years. And I have all of my wellness statements from mybloodsource.com. And we're gonna look and see if we can come up with any conclusions on if it's safe to donate blood as a vegan. There's this big myth going around that vegans are malnourished and we don't get enough protein and we're pretty much just walking around skeletons that lack any nutrients. So we're gonna see if we can come up with any conclusions, look at the info for the last five to 10 years and see what's up. So here we're looking at BMI, and I'm 5'7 and 145, so it looks like we're good there. And we can't have a high fat diet, but bread, fruit, vegetables, beans looks pretty good so far. All right, we have hemoglobin, which is protein in red blood cells, and we can have tofu, cooked beans, or lentils, so it looks like we're good. These are my stats, if you will, so you can pause the video and check those out. It has my donations and all of my other stuff on there as well. Here you can see my weight and when I started being vegan and how I've kept the weight off. This graph is my blood pressure and although it looks a little erratic, you can see how it's gone down a little bit and it's in a tighter pattern now. Here we have the hemoglobin, which is the protein in your blood and it's gone up and is in a tighter pattern with a vegan diet. All of my graphs look pretty good so far, but it is important to point out that I am giving plasma each time. So plasma is a little bit different of a process where they take the actual plasma out of your blood and return the blood back to you. So it's not just a whole blood donation and it's not platelets, which is a dis different form. It's taking the plasma out and the process takes about 30 minutes but altogether being at blood source probably takes hour to hour and a half. So blood source doesn't pay you for your plasma, but they give you points and you get 500 points each time you do a plasma donation. I'm also on the frequent plasma, so you can get a mini physical and it makes it so you can give every three days. So I can essentially get up to about a thousand points a week. So let's see what kind of rewards we can get with a thousand points a week. I usually save mine up and get Amazon gift cards. So you can get a $25 gift card with three weeks or a hundred dollar gift card with 11 weeks. This is the machine that they hook you up to for both plasma and platelets. So pretty much in conclusion, you can say that you can donate blood and be vegan. I am on one of the most intense programs, which is the Frequent Plasma, donating twice a week, and I'm doing perfectly fine. And points-wise, I mean, it could be a little bit better. Saving up 11 weeks for a $100 gift card probably isn't very enticing but you're also saving lives while you're doing it, so you have to take that into account as well. You're not gonna get rich off of donating blood, but it's a little side hustle, if you will, and you get snacks while you're there, so you can add that in, add saving a life, and I think it's definitely worth it. But yes, you can donate blood, plasma, and platelets as a vegan.